you for viewing us from the Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina. So support the Holy Prophet Ambassador by the will of God. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debtor. As we forgive our debtor, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. From the Diplomat College Center, the Embassy of the Kingdom of Heaven on Earth, Joseph Forbes, Ambassador, Prophet Ambassador, Elvera, Pastor Ambassador from Manila, Philippines, Antipolo City. Together as a team, we continue to spread the good news of Jesus Christ to the nations of the world. Welcome to this online seminar, being brought to you by Global, the Diplomat Center, College Center, Greenville, South Carolina. Joseph Forbes, God Holy Prophet, Ambassador Elvera, God Holy Pastor, Ambassador. We are honored to bring you such Wonderful, glorious message. Another Kingdom Power Park session. Online session. Today our session is new, new. Part one. It's called Your Husband, Your Source. Abba. Father. Part one. Ang ating pong topic na yon ay pinamagatang Your Husband is Your Source Abba Father Part 1 Thank you again You will never experience something you do not understand You must first apply the kingdom receive the kingdom get to know about the kingdom and apply the kingdom in your life, then you will experience kingdom living. Hindi nyo maunawaan ang bagay, hindi nyo mararanasan ang bagay na hindi nyo nauunawaan. Kailangan tanggapin, alamin ang tungkol sa kaharian ng Diyos bago nyo itong maranasan. Your husband is your Abba, Father. Ang yung asawang lalaki, ang yung Abba na Ama. Wow. Wow. The Bible is called the Law of God. When you approach in the Bible, you're not approaching a religious book. You're approaching a legal document. Ang Biblia ay tinatawag ng mga kautusan ng Diyos. Pagka inyong nilalapatan ang Biblia, ito ay hindi isang reliyosong aklat. Ito ay isang legal na dokumento. For 1,800 years, preachers, pastors, from all walks of life, all different denominations, use the scripture and they misunderstand the scripture. They use it at time of a wedding ceremony. But this is not a wedding ceremony message. This is a message of God's revelation about His kingdom, His citizen, His family. World family being joined to kingdom citizen, husband and wife. 
Wow. Sa loob ng isang libo at walundaang taon, marami mga pastor at iba't ibang denomination ay ginagamit ang mga talatang ito sa mga wedding ceremony. Muli ito ay revelasyon ng Diyos tungkol sa kanyang karian, sa kanyang mga mamamayan, ang kanyang mga royal family na pinagsama ang asawang lalaki at babae. This message is the oldest institution message. The first institution created by God himself. He is the This message was being brought to you by God himself. He is the founder of marriage. Ang mensaheng ito ay dinila mismo ng Panginoong Yesus sapagkat siya ang founder ng marriage. Reading from the Constitution, the world, the religious group, the government, the culture of nation, bring their concept to marriage. But let's examine what was in the heart and the mind of God about marriage. Ang reliyon, ang salibutan, ang pamahalaan, ang kultura ng mga bansa ang nagdala ng iba't ibang konsepto tungkol sa pag-aasawa. Muli tignan natin ang puso at isipan ng Diyos tungkol dito. Write this down, please. Sulat nyo ito. Genesis 2, 22. Mula sa kalatang Genesis, kabanatang dalawa, talatang dalawampu't dalawa. Then the ribs which the Lord God had taken from man, he made into a woman, and he brought her to him. At ang tadyang na kinuha ng Panginoong Diyos sa lalaki, ginawang isang babae at ito'y dinala niya sa lalaki. God made man in two model. One, a male. Two, a female. Gumawa ang Diyos ng dalawang mortal. Una, isang lalaki at pangalawa, isang babae. A man with a womb and a man without a womb. The man without a womb is called male. The man with a womb is called female. There is a difference between both. Ang dalawang mortal na to ay isang lalaki na mayroong sinapupunan at isang lalaki na walang sinapupunan. Ang lalaki na walang sinapupunan ay tinatawag na male at ang baba ang lalaki na walang sinapu na may sinapupunan ay female. Ngunit may kaibahan. Do you not know that it was a king who made a woman? It was a king. The Lord, every lord is king. And every king is Lord. Now, Adam was not born. Adam si Adan was hindi not pinanganak. born. Si Adan ay hindi pinanganak. Eve was born by the first birth. But Adam was not born. Now, who was Adam's mama? <laughs> Who was Adam's mama? Sino ang mama ni Adam? Sino ang mama ni Adam? Adam was created by God. God breathed si his breath in Adam. Adam become a living being. Wow. Si Adan ay nilikha ng Diyos mula sa kanyang hininga at si Adan nga ay naging buhay na kaluluwa. God take the womb out of Adam 
and he made it into a woman, God never named her. The man named her. Wow! Hindi pinangalala ng Diyos ang babae kundi si Adan ang nagpangalan sa kanya. Who was Eve mama? And who was Adam mama? Now we go to the message already in progress. Ngayon ay dadako tayo sa mensahe. Adam said when God brought this woman to Adam, Adam said, This is now bones of my bone, flesh of my flesh, she shall be called woman. Now, notice, God never named a woman a woman. God named Adam, but God never named Eve. God allowed Adam to name Eve. Wow. <laughs> Hiniyan ng Diyos na si Adan ang magpangalan kay Eva. Adam said, because she had been taken out of man. Sabi ni Adan, sapagkat siya ay isa lalaki kinuha. That was the first birth. Man, birth, yeah. Eve. Every woman, a man gave the first birth to. Yun ang unang pagpanganganak, ang lalaki ang nanganak kay Eva sa isang babae. She was taking out of man. Siya'y lalala, kinuha sa lalaki. Therefore, a man shall leave his father. Kaya tiiwan na lalaki ang kanyang ama. Now, nowhere in the scripture, it said woman should leave the father. <laughs> no one in the scripture, it said woman should leave the mama, but the man should leave his father. Walang talatang nagsasabi na ang babae ang iiwan sa kanyang mga magulang, kundi ang lalaki ang mag-iiwan sa kanyang mga magulang. Why he should leave his father? Because the man is a father. The husband is a father. Now what I take place? A woman decided to change father. Wow. She shall leave, he shall leave his father and his mama. And the woman who leave her parents, her mama, go to another father. And the father she go to is her husband. Her father become her husband because woman will take it out of man. Ang asawang lalaki nga ang magiging kanyang ama pag siya ay nag, nag, nag-asawa sapagkat ang babae ay kinuha sa lalaki. Wow! Wow! You must not leave your mama house not because you love someone. You must not leave your mama house or your papa house But the standard of living your parents provide for you, you must go to your husband who could be a father with the same type of standard of living for you. Kailangan magkakaroon kayo ng asawa na ang pamantayan ng pamumuhay ay higit pa sa ibinigay sa inyo ng inyong mga magulang. If you leave your mama in that house and the man you will marry, He don't have a car, he have a bicycle, and a motorbike, that's stupid! You can leave your mama house for a bicycle, to ride on a motorbike, and your daddy will have you in another type of standard of living, you will leave his house. 
Nilisanin niyo ba ang tahanan ng inyong ama at ina kung ang ikaw ay mayroong sasakyan at ang mapapangasawa mo ay mayroon lamang bisikleta? No. Those who will be getting married, those who are already married, let us understand what a husband is. One, a husband is a married man. Ang isang husband ay isang lalaking ikinasal. Not a single man. He is a married man. Hindi siya isang single na ta na lalaki, kundi siya ay may asawang lalaki. He is a partner into marriage with you. Siya ay kapareha mo sa pag-aasawa. He is a spouse in relationship. Siya ay asawang lalaki sa isang relasyon. The man who you will be married to. He Ang lalaki is na mapapangasawa mo. Your source. Siya ang iyong source. He is your source. Make sure he have a job. Siya ang iyong sure. source, kaya siguraduhin mo na siya ay may trabaho. He have an automobile car. Make sure he have a place to live. Make sure he's equipped to entertain you and have you as his wife. Do not get married to a beggar. Oh, so. Huwag kang magpapakasal. Mm -hmm. He is your source. The word source Tell means source. organizer. The word source means something from where something comes from out. The word source means supplier, provider. Ang ibig sabihin ng source ay sa bagay na pinagmulan, supplier, provider. Two things is to you. Abba. God is Abba of all spirit. Every human spirit, God is Abba. He's source of life. Ang Diyos, ang Ama ng lahat ng Espiritu, Siya ang source, Siya ang pinagmumula ng buhay. The male is the source, the sustainer, the father, the nourisher, the provider, ah. the protector. Ang lalaki nga ang source, ang Siya ang nagpo-provide, Siya ang nag-iingat, at Siya ang tagapagtaguyod. He must provide for you. Kailangan siya yung magbigay ng lahat yung pangailangan. He must be your sustainer. Kailangan siya yung tagataguyin mo. He must protect you. Kailangan siya yung tagapag-alaga mo. He must nourish you. Kailangan ni ikaw ay kanyang He must care for you. pangalagaan, ingatan. He must be Abba. Abba. Siya dapat maging Abba. To you. Siya dapat maging ama sa iyo. He must be a father to you. Siya dapat maging ama sa iyo. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife and they both will become one flesh. They both will become one. Kaya tiiwan ng lalaki ang kanyang ama at ang kanyang ina at makikipisa sa kanyang asawa at sila'y magiging isang laman, isang laman. That man want to marry you, lady. What do you bring to the table? That woman want to marry you, man. What are they bringing to the table? Yung lalaki na mapapangasawa mo o yung babae na mapapangasawa mo, ano ang bibigay sa iyo nito? They must bring something with them because they come into our body. Your father give you a good standard. Your father worked for his mama all his life. Get a home. Get a stable job. Get a stable family. Get a stable transportation. Get a stable bank account. Develop himself. And you won't marry the hustler 
You're going to marry a guy with no job, no money. Call him your husband. Di, di ka pwede mag-asawa ng sa isang lalaki na walang trabaho, walang pera sa banko, o walang pera. <laughs> you must marry a father. Kailangan naman pangasawa mo ay isang magiging ama mo. Most women are not looking for a man to have sex with or a man to make love with. Women are looking for a father. Ang tunay na inahanap ng isang babae ay ang ama. They are looking where they came from. They came from a father and they want a father. Sila ay naghahanap ng bagay na kung saan sila nagmula, ang hinahanap nila ay isang ama. They don't want a bum. Ayaw nila ng irresponsabling tao. They want a worker. O isang nagtatrabaho lang. They want a man with vision. Ang hinahanap nila ay taong merong pangitain. So that they can have provision. Na sila ay magkakaroon ng lahat ng kanilang pangailangan. Malinaw ba? There's no scripture show where woman, woman is called a father. Walang talatang nagsasabi na ang babae ay tatawaging ama. You know, two sissy women get married. Where is the father? Alam niyo, dalawang bakla ay mag-aasawa nasa ng kanila. Asino magiging ama sa kanila? That's organized by the devil to see the woman get married. Because they know far. Yan ay inorganisa ng jablo na ang dalawang babae ay mag-aasawa pero sino magiging ama sa kanila? That's jablo marriage. Yon ay pag-aasawa ng mga jablo. That's created by your culture. Yun ay nilikha ng inyong kultura. That created by you, by you. That is a rule, not a divine law. A divine law is husband and wife. Yun ay isang kautusan, ngunit hindi ito isang divine law. Two women marriages, it is a rule. A rule and a regulation by man. Dalawang babae mag-aasawa o dalawang lalaki mag-aasawa, ito ay isang regulasyon na gindilika ng tao. No, it say, therefore shall a man leave his father and mother. It didn't say, therefore shall a man leave his mama or two women should leave their home and go be live with another woman and be sissy. It didn't say that. Hindi sinasabi na ang dalawang lalaki ay mag-aasawa at iwanan nila ang kanilang mga magulang. Hindi ganun ang sinasabi dito. He didn't say two male or ma a man should leave his father house and go married to another man which is two father in one house. That is a monster! Kung mag-aasawa o iwanan ng lalaki ang kanyang ama at ina at mag-aasawa ng isang lalaki, dalawa na silang ama sa tahanan, ito ay monster na. Who the children will call Papa? Sino ang tatawagin ng mga anak na ama Who the Papa? children will call Mama? At sino ang tatawagin Mama? That is abomination to God. Yun ay karumadumal sa harapan ng Diyos. Wow! Wow! Every woman came out of a man. Ang bawat babae ay nagmula sa lalaki. 1 Corinthians 11, write it down. Sulat ninyo, 1 Corinto, 11. For the man is not from the woman Ang lalaki nga ay hindi sa babae Underline the word from F R O M Guita 
inyong salitang mula. For the man is not from the woman. Ang lalaki nga ay hindi sa babae. But woman from the man. Bulit ang babae ay nagmula sa lalaki. Now let me show you from me. The word from me organizes so something, a point, or where something originates from, a starting point, a beginning. Woman beginning from a man. Ang pinagmulan ng babae ay ang lalaki. Woman didn't come from God. Woman came from man. Ang babae hindi nagmula sa Diyos, kundi ang babae ay nagmula sa lalaki. Woman that came out of God, woman came out of man. Hindi lumabas ang babae sa lalaki, kundi ang babae ay lumabas sa lalaki. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Tatawagin siyang babae sapagat siya ay nagmula sa lalaki. Am I clear? Maliwanag ba? For this reason, A woman ought to have a symbol of a salary of her head because the angel, nevertheless, is a man independent of a woman, no woman independent of a man in the Lord. For a woman comes from, from, a woman come from a man. Sapagkat hindi nila lang ang lalaki dahil sa babae, kundi ang babae dahil sa lalaki, dahil dito inararapat ng babae ay magkaroon sa kanyang ulo ng kapamahalaan. Also, man came through woman. Gayun man ang babae, di maaring walang lalaki at ang lalaki, di maaring walang babae sa Panginoon sapagkat kung paano babae sa lalaki, gayun din naman ang lalaki sa pamamagitan ng babae. Woman came. Out of man, man came through woman. Woman came out of man, man came through woman. Woman came out of man, man through, come through a woman. Do you not know that? Woman was created for a man. God created women for a man. Therefore rejoice with the woman of your youth. The woman was created for the man. Ang babae ay nilalang para sa lalaki. A man not need to cover his head because he is the glory of God. Hindi kinakailangan na takpan ng ng ulo sa pagkaya ay imahin at kalwalatian ng Dios. But a woman is the glory of a man. Thank you again for viewing us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debt as we forgive our debt. Believe us not in the temptation, but deliver us from evil one. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you again for joining us in another Kingdom Power Path session. Brought to you by Globe, Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina, on behalf of Pastor Elvera, Pastor Ambassador of Manila, Philippines, and Joseph Wall, Prophet and Ambassador of the United States, Greenville, South Carolina. May God bless you. May God bless your family. May God bless the United States of America. May God bless the nation of Israel. Till next session, part two of Your Husband, Your Source, Abba Father.